The concept of reverse aging in humans might come as a shock to most of us, but this too has been rendered possible by the wonders of science. The fact that the biological clock can efficiently be reversed has been suggested by a small clinical study in California. The experiment included nine healthy participants who were given a mixture of drugs for one whole year. The drugs essentially included one growth hormone and two diabetes medications to balance out the changes taking place in the participants' mechanisms. Interestingly, the participants shared around two and a half years of their biological age, which is usually measured by evaluating one's genome. In addition, they showed signs of a revived and enhanced immune system. The results of this experiment took everyone by shock, including the researchers. They expected a slowing down of the clock, meaning staggered aging, not a literal reversal. The researchers were cautious about their findings because of the small-scale trial and didn't have a control group. More trials are needed to replicate the results. The epigenetic clock of the body, which is also known as Horworth clock, is made up of chemical modifications, including methyl groups that tag DNA and can alter it during the course of life. The changes are precisely tracked to evaluate the age of a person, which can either exceed or fall behind someone's chronological age. The epigenetic clocks of the body can be constructed by choosing the most appropriate sets of DNA methylation areas across the entire arrangement of the genome. Furthermore, the research was conducted to check whether or not the growth hormone can be securely implemented in humans to revive the lost tissues in the thymus gland. The reason why the drugs contain diabetic stimulants is that growth hormone triggers the regeneration of thymus. Nevertheless, this hormone meddles with the natural blood sugar levels and promotes diabetes. That is why the trial included two widely used anti-diabetic drugs. The study primarily concluded that in about seven participants, the fat accumulated in the glands after puberty was replaced by reformed thymus tissues, therefore showing positive signs of age reversal. The researchers mainly focused on four distinct aspects of the epigenetic clock, and fortunately, all four of them underwent significant reversals. Additionally, the effects of this experiment stayed with those six participants who submitted their blood samples six months after procuring the blood samples. Evidence from previous research has shown that the regeneration of the thymus can prove beneficial to people who have been living with a hyperactive immune system, especially the elders. Persistent diseases like pneumonia that have been causing most deaths of people over 70 years can potentially derive the fruits of the age reversal technology. Moreover, with the swelling of immune cells in the blood, a terminal disease like cancer too will be impacted upon positively. David Sinclair, one of the leading scientists in the field of aging, believes that growing old isn't a natural part of life, but it's a disease that needs a cure. Thanks for watching. Did you like this video? Then show your support by liking, subscribing, and ringing the bell to never miss videos like this.